need to assign the helicopter to the entity ID. So we're going to click on the helicopter, which I think I did. And we are going to right click on here and assign that. Assign selected entity. I'm going to make sure I did that. Clicked on it. Yep, I think I did that. Alright, looks good enough. Now, oh, we are not done yet. Click on the two AIs and then assign them to the two vehicle enters. Um, I'm going to click on this guy first here. And I'm going to assign him to this one. And then I'm going to click on this guy here. And I'm going to assign him to the gunner seat. Alright, you can see how these two have switched. I'm going to get a bit closer for a bit better viewing, I guess. Alright. Now, we are going to add node logic any. Logic any. I think we've used just about all the logic in any and all. Alright. Um, we are going to take succeed from n1 and 2. So, uh, where is succeed? Right here, we're going to take succeed to 1 and n2 from the two vehicle enters. Alright. Uh right click alright we need to add an AI follow path speed stance add node oopsie AI follow path speed stance alright now we're going to take logic all out to follow Pete's to out to follow whatever you know what I mean just watch I'm going to take out to sync there you go I'm going to assign the helicopter to AI follow path speed stance. So I'm going to click on the helicopter and we are going to right click and assign selected entity. Alright. I think we're done assigning for a few minutes so I'm going to try to expand this a little bit. Alrighty. We assign the helicopter and now we are going to click on AI follow path. Where was that? Oh yes, follow path speed stands and we're going to change the number of loops to negative one. Minus one, enter. Alrighty. Now we are going to change the name right here. Path underscore name to H E L I underscore P A T H enter heli path heli underscore path you can rename that if you want to but um just remember the name I guess best I can tell you oh Jesus okay so we're gonna go up here file save as helicopter save. Alright, now you can close this. But we are not done yet. But we're really close, actually. We're going to open up the roll-up bar, which is already open. We're going to click on AI and AI path. Um, change the name to heli underscore path enter. Just like we did in the flow graph. Alright. Um, now we just needed um, Oh yes, we need to change the road, un untick road, because obviously the helicopter, make sure that says false. Please make sure it says false. Alright, now we're just going to create the path. Um, start by clicking on one spot, followed by clicking in a bunch of other random points.
Alright, and right back to it. Alright, so we're going to edit the shape a little bit, if we can. See, the problem is that I can't see it very well. I don't think that's going to change the height very well. You know, let's just see what they do. I'm going to go over here in my little village. See if they at least get in the helicopter. Sweet, they're running for the helicopter. I don't know if I added any height to it. That's the problem. Oh, Jesus, he's shooting at me. Please don't. Just fly, fly in your little path. I don't want to have to shoot you down. Fly in your selected path. Thank you. Alright, you see he's flying in the selected path that we chose. should come in for a landing or just keep flying around oh my you know helicopter bring it freaking on bring it on right now bring it bring it bring it bring it bring it oh that almost hit me you almost just died there is no joke I don't, ah Alright, um, tutorial number 14 will show you, I'm going to show you how to um, have him fight you and stuff like that. Um, this is going to end this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'm very surprised at work actually. And holy crap, we're at 17 freaking minutes. Wow. Okay, um, this is ending this tutorial. Xanthacquire signing out.